the judicial and police evidence shows that uh, companies may become criminal actors them, themselves, in the sense that they can be used for a variety of criminal purposes uh, to conceal illicit proceeds, to conceal criminals, uh, or to launder products, stolen products, counterfeit products. So now somehow criminology has changed and the focus should not be only on individuals, so on profiling individuals, but the new idea is to that we can profile companies as we were profiling individuals 30 years ago. So the objective is to identify what are the characteristics of these firms in order that somebody, a bank again, a law firm or a public authority, a law enforcement agent could identify a company which has odd characteristics, which has uh, red flags, which could brought uh, which could bring it to, to, to commit crime or to be involved in some criminal scheme. If we have to profile companies, then we need information on companies. That's why company information has become key, even in the anti-financial crime, in the compliance, in the anti-money laundering uh, field, in the anti-money laundering domain. Uh, we produce a set of risk indicators uh, which uh, serve to measure the risk across geographic areas, so to indicate if a country or a region in a country or even a municipality is at high risk in terms of infiltration by organized crime or money laundering, or the same across business sectors. So is wholesale trade of uh, food products at higher risk than uh, uh, waste disposal? Uh, we do produce in risk indicators to measure the complexity of the ownership structure, to measure the opacity of the ownership structure, to check if uh, a, a firm or its shareholders are linked with secrecy jurisdiction. And this ascent could be very helpful for those who do compliance daily, uh, those who do due diligence, in order to filter out those firms which are at highest risk and which deserve a further investigation. And Bureau Van Dyke is, uh, I would say, a friendly and crucial partner of ours. And so we provide them with this risk indicator, which Bureau Van Dyke incorporates in the databases in order to help uh, this risk assessment and compliance activity. Mm -hmm.